Now let's go look at some fun stuff. Now the fun stuff is right here in the mute and remove participants. This used to be called something a little bit uh, non-descriptive room participant controls. Actual fact, it's really just mute and remove participants, so why not call it that? Now one thing I did add was I added quite a few varieties of mute. You can mute everybody in the main room. You can mute all people in all breakouts, mute people in all rooms. Uh, mute people uh, in this room only uh, for remove. You can remove uh, all people from <clears throat> this one room that you're on, and that would be this uh, room for the slider. Uh, or you could say breakout rooms are over, remove everybody from all the breakouts. Uh, class is over, remove everybody from the main room. Let's look at these one by one. So what I did was I just created an example here. I just um, added a bunch of students in the incognito mode. I just threw, you know, threw them in the room here. <laughs> and I intentionally turned their microphones on. So I had quite a few people with their microphones on. All right, so some are be below the fold here. So Sam and Reese are below the fold. Now let's just go see what happens if I say mute everybody in the main. Now, by the way, I get, uh, you know, I get some questions here. People are asking, well, if they go to a breakout, do they have to leave the main or not? The answer is they don't have to leave the main. They could stay in the main, but it, uh, it's important that they have all their microphones muted in the main. Otherwise, they can get feedback on their side and that can, you know, in turn feed through the whole system. So uh, it's important to go ahead and mute them and uh, when they're moved into the breakout. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to say mute all in the main and let's just see what happens. Now what it's going to do is it's going to go down the list and it will answer the uh, pop-ups for you. So just don't do anything. Just let it go. And let's just see what happens here. Sam was unmuted. Okay, Becky as well. Well, it looks like we're in good shape. Now let's go look at the list, and uh, it looks like everybody is unmuted, and that's great. I wasn't quite sure because I went through a couple of uh, iterations, of versions on this, and it looks like here it will actually work for what I'm saying is below the fold here. It, it, it will actually pick up all those ones below, and I'm really happy to see that. All right, <clears throat> now let's, uh, let's say that you want to mute everybody everywhere. Um, I, I don't have that example set up here, but I do have other people in other breakout rooms. And what, it, what it'll do is, uh, <clears throat> suppose you want to mute, mute everybody everywhere, it will just open up all these sliders all the way across, or the chat boxes all the way across, and it'll spin through and see, is, there any, is anybody uh, speaking? Uh, does anybody have their microphone on? If they do, it will unmute it. It will mute it. Okay, uh, so that's muting. Now let's just go to the next part, which is kind of fun uh, as well, and we're gonna remove students. So what we could do is, let's say that I'm in uh, room one. I'll just go to room one, all right? And I just wanna show you how this works. You could say, remove all from this one room only, which would be uh, this one. But in, in actual fact, I think what you would do is you would say, Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do a broadcast. So you're going to say a broadcast, and you would say something like, uh, hello, everybody. Uh, I think we have, you know, let's wrap up. We've got one minute left, and then uh, we'll go back to the main room after uh, then. So then you would just uh, sign off here, and then when it's uh, one minute is up, then you'll go back in here and you say, okay, everybody, let's uh, leave the breakouts, and then we'll meet up in the main room. All right, and then you can turn that off. Now, some people will forget because... Remember, they will likely be in both the main room and the breakout room. That's fine. So you just go ahead and clean up after them. <laughs> and you will just say, uh, breakouts are over, over. Remove everybody from all breakouts. All right. So I, I don't have anybody here in this third one, but it would do that as well. But you can see that I do have multiple breakout rooms, and it, it will just go through all those. So, so I'm going to click this button right here. Uh, uh, breakouts are over. Remove all from all breakouts. So let's... Let me minimize this, and I'll, I'll put this down here so we can see how that goes. So I'm going to click right now. Now what this does is it, it just goes through um, one by one and uh, automates what's actually very tedious to do manually. You'll Google Meet gives you a pop-up, 
and it answers all the pop-ups for you. So, all right, there we go. Everybody's all uh, removed. Everybody's removed from the breakouts, which I think will be uh, very, very convenient for teachers. You just click that button and they're all gone. Uh, they're all removed. Now, then let's look at this last part right here. Class is over. Be careful about clicking on this one until you're really sure class is over, all right? So, okay, class is over here. I talked to a, a teacher and he was really funny. He goes, I accidentally removed students from the main room. Oops, yeah. So I put this way down at the bottom, way down at the bottom, so you, know, you won't accidentally click on it in the middle. All right, so class is over. We're ready to go, and it's, time is up. So we'll just click on this, and it's just going to go, go through the list and remove everybody. And just let, let the pop-ups, um, let the extension answer the pop-ups for you. Just... Uh, uh, drink a cup of coffee or something like that <laughs> while this is going on. You'll, you'll want to monitor this. You'll want to make sure that it actually does go through and, and remove everybody. This is an extreme example. I'm, you know, in most cases, the students would leave on their own, but there will be a few that forget. Okay, so now you're in great shape. Uh, you could just close everything down. And actually, in actual fact, you could have closed down these uh, breakouts when, when you removed them. Uh, you know, the general rule, of course, you know this, is uh, just make sure the students are uh, removed first before you close the room. And so this room is, is clean, and then you can just do a command control uh, W, and away you go, and then you're all done. Okay, so I think that should be a, a big convenience for the teachers. Uh, you know, removing everybody from all the breakouts. You can mute uh, everybody in the main room. That's really important. Remove, mute everybody in the main room uh, when they go to the breakouts. And then uh, I went over the rest. Okay, so that's about it. Hope you guys uh, find this helpful.